Would you ever want to grab a coffee? No. Hey, want to grab a coffee sometime? Hey, are you single? We should grab a coffee. Oh my god. Hmm, I wonder what my future boyfriend is doing right at this very moment. No, I don't want to get a coffee. No thanks. It's too strong. Too. Mm. Maybe some other time. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Man, why does dating have to be so complicated? There's so many cute single guys out there, but there's always something else that prevents us from dating. Like seriously. Huh? Who's calling me? Hmm, wonder what he wants. Hey babe, how are you? Hey, what's up? Just in line, waiting for my morning coffee. Wanted to check in, see if you've made any progress on the boyfriend front. Spill the tea. Nope, none yet. I wish I could just meet a guy spontaneously in public. Do people still do that nowadays? I think it might be possible for heteros, but... If you're gay, good luck with that. I mean, honestly, we literally have to analyze a man's whole being and come to the conclusion that he's actually gay first, before we can even start thinking about trying to find out if he's single and available. That's what I call hetero privilege. Not to mention, it's nearly impossible to tell for guys who don't have a noticeably obvious or even semi-obvious gay trait about them. Tell me you like DL guys without telling me you like DL guys. No, I'm serious. <laughs> okay, okay, jeez. There has to be a better way for us. You could always do what everyone else does. Use a dating app, go to a gay bar. Those are about your only options. Yeah, but... Oh, or there's a friend of a friend. You never know. It's not the same. I guess you're right, though. All right, well, my order's ready. Gotta go, babe. Love ya. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. <sighs> Damn, it seems like this list just keeps getting longer and longer. It's really getting unrealistic. Here I go, adding another bullet point. Easy to find. Hmm. Ugh, this is so useless. I just want to be spontaneous and meet someone, but it's so hard. And people still think we choose to be gay. to, but I guess I can try a dating app. Well, here goes nothing. Never thought I would download this again. I swear, if someone sends me a random, I'm literally deleting this. Hmm, profile pic. I guess this? Now, what was that one setting that I wanted to change? Uh, oh, I already got a new message. I swear, if this is a pig. <sighs> Seriously? Okay, that's it. Goodbye, Grinder. Not sure why I even tried you, but maybe Tinder will work better. All right, Tinder, don't let me down. Eh. Eh. Uh, he's kind of cute. Oh wow, a match already? Hmm, send a message. One eternity later. Still no reply. I don't understand why you would match me if you're not even gonna talk to me. Well, that was a waste of time. Okay, this is my last hope. I found this guy on Instagram. I'm just gonna directly message him and we'll just see if we can go from there. Let's see what he says. No way, he answered. 
Sorry, you're not my type. Of course. Whatever you are, I give up. Hey, what is up guys? So this was another sort of skit scripted video idea that I had. I'm definitely gonna try and keep mixing videos like these into the normal videos I make. So I hope you guys like them. If you enjoyed, please make sure you leave a like because these ones do take more effort than a normal video. If you really wanna help me out and you enjoyed this video, you thought it was relatable, if you could send it to one of your gay friends, that would help me out so much. And of course, because nearly 70% of you guys that watch my videos aren't subscribed, if you could just double check, that would be amazing. <laughs> Did you think this video was relatable? Because I feel like for most single gay guys, that's pretty much how it goes. There were probably a few other things I could have included, but I just wanted to keep it nice and simple. And this is what I came up with. So thank you guys so much. You already know, Stan Chris, stay woke. Peace.